I'm Mrs. Fuentes. Um, and my advice for like on moving on from high school would be, um, it's like a new time and you can like, if there's something you don't like about yourself, you can totally like change it and know it. Like you're not stuck in the rut of people have this perception of you. People know you, people, um, assume how you're going to be. You can create a new you if you want to. Hey, this is Magdalenos. Advice for seniors going into the next phase, keep a good balance, work, school, life. Just make sure you balance everything out. And don't neglect one for the other. I'm Nelson. Make good choices. That's it. I'm Laura Erringer, and the advice I would give to seniors um, is you're still young. Have fun with life. Don't you, you want to take your academics seriously, but you, you're still young, you know, live your life, have fun, learn to be flexible and a lifelong learner. Uh, my name is Miss Lyons, Desk Lyons, and my advice for the graduating seniors would be to um, just make the most out of everything they can do. Um, each day is a blessing. Have fun, live it to your best, enjoy every second, and um, don't forget your teachers here at the high school. So. That's it. <laughs> um, I'm Miss Holton, and my advice for graduating seniors would be to not take life too seriously and live in the moment and enjoy everything that life throws their way. Okay, my name is Mrs. Ryan, and my advice to this graduating class is to not feel like you have to have all the answers. Right now there's a lot of unknowns, and people might be pressuring you to pick what you want to do, where you want to go, what you want to be. I just want to say that that is probably going to change so many times in your life in the first four years you're out of here that it's something that you have to be able to just roll with the punches, be okay with not having all the answers, and just know that things are going to change and you're going to be just fine. First off, seniors, congratulations on uh, meeting this milestone. Very um, proud of all of you. And my advice to you is that it's okay if you don't want to know, if you don't know what you want to do with your life yet because I've been teaching for 22 years and I'm leaving this year and gonna find a new chapter. Also, if you are going to college, best of luck. And definitely those of you that are going to Indiana University, smart choice. All right, hi, uh, I'm Ms. Sorg. My advice for seniors is never stop learning. I know that may sound uh, silly, but be wary of that point in your adulthood when you think that you know everything because that's the moment that you learn there's a whole new set of things you don't know. So it doesn't matter how old you are, there's always something new to learn, whether it's a skill or just something about life. So always be ready to keep learning and never think you're done because even if you're not in school, you're not done learning. I'm Ms. Phillips and my advice is to, no matter how old you are, always have a passion in life. Hi, my name is Miss Lewis, and my advice for seniors who are graduating would be to spend at least one year outside of your house, uh, move out of your house for at least one year. I think that that teaches you a little bit of independence, um, but also adult responsibility. And then if you need to move back home after that, then move back home after that. But I always recommend for people to, to at least try it on your own for at least a year outside of high school. I am John Preston. Uh, my advice for seniors is don't think the world owes you anything and be ready to work for everything you want. For seniors graduating, my best advice to you would be be the person that you know yourself to be, not who people are pressuring you to be.